All right, in this video, we're gonna discuss how to adjust for your costs of goods sold via manual process instead of using a software. And generally, I recommend this process for folks that don't have a very high volume inventory. So maybe you're a private label seller that has a handful, half a dozen, maybe even up to two dozen products that you sell. It might be overkill for you to try to get an inventory management software or a big analytics software. If your SKU count is pretty low, I'd say within a, you know less than like two dozen, then this process will probably work for you really pretty well. Um, but on the other hand, if you're like an RA or an OA type seller where you have lots and lots of different SKUs, you're definitely going to want to use something like Inventory Lab or you'll go insane trying to keep track of it on a spreadsheet or something like that. So that said, um, this is kind of the manual process. We're going to start by going to reports in Seller Central and then under reports you'll see fulfillment. From the fulfillment reports page, you look to the left to the inventory section. And you'll notice a report called inventory reconciliation. And there's two tabs here. We can either view online or download. So I'm going to go to download. Right off the bat, you have the most recent uh, month, but you're going to choose exact dates. And here's the thing. If you're going back farther than a month into the past, so if you're doing the most recent month that just closed, you shouldn't have any problem at all. Um, so you can pick the 1st to the 31st. Um, but let's say we want to go back to all the way to January 2016. If that's the case, it's only going to allow me to choose one day. right? So if I go all the way back to January 2016, I won't be able to choose January 31st just because it archives the data. So it keeps one report set in stone all the way back for 18 months. And it's as of the first. So generally, if I'm trying to do like the, the month of January, I'll just go ahead and pick the first of February. And I'll go ahead and request a download. And while I'm waiting for this download to initialize, what you'll see here is that this monthly report data is not available until after the fifth day of the month. So um, that's the one caveat with the, the manual process is you have to wait until the fifth of the month before you can do it. So once you hit download, uh, the report is going to come out looking something similar to this. So uh, this is actually real live client data. So I'm obviously keeping their SKU stuff hidden. But with columns A to E, A, B, C, D, and E, what you're gonna see is, if you look over to the right hand side, you're gonna see a SKU column, an F and SKU column, ASIN, product name, and condition. So what I did, I just hid this product name and all that information from you. But what you'll see is there's a whole series of quantities, beginning, ending, receive, et cetera, et cetera. What you can do is in the, in the resources section of the course, I have an FBA cost of goods sold calculator. So what you'll see is you'll see um, some instructions on the top. You want to paste this data straight from the Amazon reconciliation report. So A through E will be the exact same data. You just copy and paste A through E from this inventory reconciliation report and then columns G through Q you're going to paste this data so this is all the beginning data so let's go ahead and take data I'm going to come over here copy and then paste it into Excel and all of it should line up exactly and notice here in column F I'll, I'll come over here column F says manual input value so this is where we're going to need average cost I'm going to go into average cost into a little bit more detail on the next few videos, but let's just say I go in and plug a random average cost of a few dollars, just plug it in. So then what we're going to do over here is come over to this auto calculate section and I'm going to drag the calculation down. Why don't we come drag this total over? And under COGS, I'm going to hit our SUM function, hit ENTER. And actually, this is going to tell us how much our cost of goods sold was for the month. Based on these average costs and based on these quantities coming in and going out, these sec this section automatically calculates for you. 
the total, which is down here at the bottom. And so this number is just like with the automated software, we're gonna take this number over here. Let's go back over to zero in a manual journal. And same thing, create a narration, create the date, cost of goods sold, primary inventory. And because of the way the calculator works, it calculates a negative number. So if you try to type in a negative number to the debit column, it's gonna switch over to the credit column. So if you're gonna copy and paste this directly from the calculator, you're gonna to wanna to copy it into the credit column so that it ends up in the debit column and then vice versa. Or you could just type it out, whatever works best for you. But essentially, this calculator does all the heavy lifting for you. All you need to do is you need to plug in your average cost and then you need to paste the data from the inventory reconciliation report. And uh, a few tips here with the inventory reconciliation report. One thing I like to do is I like to sort by the ASIN number. So over time, as you add more products, generally that ASIN number is A to Z. So as you add older, as you add new products, those new products will fall to the bottom, and it'll say the same. Anyways. This is, this is the process for doing it manually. You use the inventory reconciliation report. And, oh, a quick note. Um, the inventory reconciliation report comes as a text file, which if you try to open it up in Excel, it's gonna look totally crazy. So you're gonna have to probably right click on the file and click open with Excel. Um, if, if you're having trouble, I would recommend just doing a quick Google search how to open a text file with Excel and, uh, and that should cure the issue. But download the inventory reconciliation, paste the data into the calculator and put your average cost. And then if you have to drag and drop any calculations and then it should give you a total that you just copy and paste directly in to zero. Your calculations, hit post if you want to. Um, drag and drop the scratch work so you know how you arrived at this number and you should be good to go.